Coming up on Value This with Dr. Lori. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> she loves this doll. Love she'll this. tell us why, but she'll also tell us about a lot of other collectible dolls. And we'll find out all about it coming up right now. Value this with Dr. Lori. And Dr. Lori, I think you've got a confession to make to everybody. This is Chrissy. She was my doll as a kid. I love Chrissy. What, what I, is the deal with this doll? <laughs> I know you're like, I don't get it, Lori. I don't I get don't it. Get well, it. you know, I always say it. Dolls comes with emotions. So uh, Chrissy was a, one of the dolls I had as a child. And lots of you who are 25 like me also probably remember Chrissy from the mid-70s. And Chrissy's deal was if you, there's a knob in her back right? And then you could move the knob and her hair would go long or it could be short. So she was versatile in, in terms of her hairstyle. And her face was actually based, now she was found in the trash, I was told by um, the, the lovely person who has allowed us to come into her house and look at her collectibles here in Bucks County. But her face, if you look at her face and you forget about her red hair, in fact, was based on Farrah Fawcett who of course was, you know, the pinup of the day. My mother's a redhead, so every single doll I owned had red hair. Okay, well, enough of the confession now, Dr. Lori. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. So. She's worth about $65, and she's of a particular time period. So 20th century dolls, dolls from the 1900s, including this one, are collectible. Now, this is just made of typical plastic vinyl, right. you know, not all that wonderful Not materials. in good shape. Not the eyes are crazy. Shape. Looks demented. Yes, because she was in the trash, and, you know, okay, probably something. Okay, but still worth $65. In good condition, $65. In this condition, probably 20 Okay, yeah. you could find people online trying to sell them for how much though oh for a lot so remember if you're looking online and they're inflating values I want you to make sure that you get an honest accurate appraisal you can get them from dr. but basically I want you to remember some people say oh it's fifteen hundred dollars for the Chrissy doll you have to look at where they're actually selling for not a price a price is a wish a hope a dream not a sales record good good point. okay I gotta put Chrissy up here all right <laughs> now this thing we put on so that why why because this is supposed to go at your at a doll's hips or right around the waist in order to have the doll stand up people will put it at the neck that's where we found this doll. that's right and they can be very very damaging to an old doll for newer dolls you can use them and they're nice stands you know they'll put them around the waist and the doll will stand up and it'll look fine but don't stick it around the neck don't stick it around she the looks neck. like she's been strangled now <laughs> she is a wonderful doll from the early 20th centuries and there are a couple of tricks that you want to look at when you're looking at a doll like this first of all her eyes are weighted that means there are weights behind inside the head that will allow her eyes to open and close is that a valuable doll more valuable if the eyes close and it can be more valuable because those particular weights and the construction inside is a little bit more complex okay than a doll that's just staring at you you know what is she made so, out of she's made also of bisque or a porcelain that's why they call them china dolls okay because they're made of porcelain or the same material right. as china and notice the teeth if the teeth are showing your doll is probably from before 1920 if the doll's mouth is closed after 1920. Why did they you know, make that change? Well, because it actually cost a little bit more money in order to do this. Okay. They're actually molded. So you have to actually sculpt these dolls. Okay. So that becomes a little bit more of a hand process. And the <laughs> process of the, you know, the doll dentist and all the rest. But now this doll was redone. They spent a lot of money redoing the doll. Right. Do, At a doll hospital. You've heard about this. Yes. Do, is that worth it? Do it you depends on the doll. Depends on the doll. This is a two th one thousand fifteen hundred dollar doll. They invested another three hundred dollars to get it to look like this. Okay, so remember. But if that doll is only parts, you can sell them for parts the way you would your car, right? But you have to make sure that you're getting a good deal when you're doing that. Now, one of the things, if you'll notice, the eyes. The eyes still have some issues on this doll. So they might have decided, okay, $300 is my budget. That's all I'm going to do. Make sure you budget it when you have uh, restoration. And if you leave something valuable, a valuable antique for someone to restore, make sure that they have insurance to cover your valuable antique while it's in their care. Uh, because they either may not finish it or they may ruin it. Or, or there might be, God forbid, a fire in their studio okay. or anything could happen. So we're going to sit her down. Okay. She's pretty valuable, but remember. So again, her, her value is... She's big. 
Uh, about fifteen hundred dollars. She's large. She has all new pieces now. You know, it's kind of like plastic. all her own teeth. Yeah, plastic surgery for the doll, right? So she's relatively valuable, and she's made typically they're German or American dolls, early twentieth century. Okay. Then there, wait before you get to that. Then there are dolls that are typical of American dolls that many of you will have. This is a Madame Alexander doll. Mm-hmm. They're very typical, and they have a particular look on their face. Okay, they really are those pretty little china faces, lovely little faces. Their eyes open and close, but they're made of plastic. Madame Alexander dolls will start as late as early as the 1950s and go into, of course, the 2000s. This one is a newer one, but again, that face is the same since the 50s. All right, are these worth collecting? And how much is one of the ones from the 50s? One of the ones from the 50s can be $250 for one, and many people have them. Ethnic dolls. Ethnic dolls. A collectible, non-collectible, increasingly. Collectible. Which one's more valuable? My little pair of these, which are made of rubber and are Native American, or the one that you are actually holding right there? Okay. They're both worth about fifteen dollars. Seven fifty, seven fifty, and fifteen. And the reason for that is because this one is mass produced in China, and these are actually the pieces that are mass produced as well. But these were giveaways. Native dolls, dolls that are、um, different types of ethnicities, can be valuable. It's just these two examples, not so much. Okay. Well, we're going to end this segment here. I love her. <laughs> we'll see you back with more tips, and Dr. Lori's got plenty more on dolls on drlorev.com. So check that out, and we'll have lots more stuff you need to know if you collect, think about collecting, or you're thinking about clearing out. We'll let you know.